Uh, yeah, uh, I'm, I'm glad we had enough awareness as a team to, to know that uh, DeJounte was coming up. It looked like he was trying to get his rhythm. Uh, I ended up being on him. He turned me around somehow on that crossover. Um, he ended up missing the shot. Uh, but I, I feel like we put ourselves in that position down the stretch. Uh, we should have closed them out. Uh, I feel like with four minutes, three minutes left to go, but they kept, uh, you know, coming at us. And when we're going on the road against these teams and everybody wants to beat us, then we that's something to expect. Uh, so we, we're glad that we got a chance to close this out and best reps are game reps. As you look back at the last 10 games, as you guys have been 10 straight, what do you think the single biggest key has been over this last stretch of games? Uh, I don't know if it's a single key. I, I just think it's a collective effort, uh, you know, for all of us to really buy into what we have going on here, and that's the big picture. Uh, we're not trying to rush it. We're not trying to uh, plan out our future too far ahead. Uh, just trying to take it day by day. And, uh, you know, when we prepare, I think that's really the, the strength of our team is, is when we're locking in with one another before the game and, and just going out there and executing. Ultimately, I mean, that, that buying obviously has to come individually, right? Every individual in there has to agree to do that. Mm -hmm. But... Uh, how difficult is that, I mean, from a coach, from a coaching perspective, to get this many guys to buy in, to sacrifice for the greater good? Uh, I think we just put it in perspective. I, I know I do individually of just, uh, you know, telling the guys that, on a consistent basis, I don't take their talent for granted. You know, as much as we've been through here in Brooklyn, uh, you know, some of the teammate changes, uh, ju just some of the things that we've dealt with as an organization. I, I just think um, when we have that collective trust of everybody buying into the big picture and, um, you know, we can look down the line and, and see we have talented guys and that'll get you so far. Um, but when you have guys willing to sacrifice and do the little things and um, put their body on the line, like KD jumping, you know, getting that block and, and doing little things like that to start the third quarter. I mean, that makes a big difference in the flow of the game. And, um, you know, whether we take a one-point lead, three-point lead going into the fourth, that matters. Uh, so these little details that we're just aware of um, game to game, I just think that we're doing a great job of um, talking and communicating when we come to the bench, Jock holding us accountable, uh, him coming in as a, as a head coach and, and really um, putting his own DNA on it. And us just following the game plan. Kyrie, Curtis Bell, NBC News, next A basketball-related question, but not specific to this game. How much of a priority is it for you to find a sneaker home, and how important is it to consider see it collectors and other small minority owned companies? Uh, well, number one, I'm in no rush to make any business decisions right now. Um, you know, uh, I've been. Uh, blessed enough to be drafted at 19 into a league that's the best in the world. Um, and I've been uh, plastered in an international uh, marketplace, whether it be in China or whether it be in Australia where I was born or whether it be in Africa. You know, I've built so many uh, tribal relationships around the world. Uh, so it, I just don't, I just want to take my time in, in terms of Sia Collective, Sia Collective, great brand, great brothers, great operation team behind the scenes. Um, but again, I'm, I'm looking for a home where we can build um, a, a huge marketplace and I can have some ownership. And um, that takes time to build. So I'm willing to stay patient, but work with people that are willing to work with me. And Sia Collective has been a great um, brand to converse with. And um, you know, I just don't want to settle with one. I think I just want to keep my options open and look for ownership and enjoy the free agency for a little bit. You know, it's been a long time coming. Um, and I think there are a lot of details that are going to come out in the future about what was actually going on. And I think once my platform is actually created and when I can do that, then we'll share that. But um, shout out to Sia Collective, Sia Collective, and everybody that's been recruiting me during this process. I'm appreciative. but. I'm definitely not going to go back into a similar contract that I was in um, or any type of situation or circumstance that I was in similar to what I was at um, at the other brand. So. Thanks, Scott. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yes, sir.